Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today marks a very special milestone for me. It is exactly 8 months since I started this YouTube journey. So today I want to share my experiences, the highs, the lows, what I've learned, what not to do and what you can expect if you're considering starting your own channel. There are two bonus tips that are game changers and kind of like cheating. The first one is somewhere in the middle of the video. The second one is close to the end. So watch the entire video. You will not regret it. Let's dive in. First off, let's talk about starting out. When I began my channel, I was full of excitement and ideas, but there were a few things I wish I knew before diving in. At the start, try to focus on one broad niche because the YouTube algorithm doesn't have enough data on your channel to show your content to the right people effectively. But you can help it. Later, you can niche down and go specific. For example, if you have a viewer that likes car games and then later on you niche down and do more in-depth videos on car games, then that viewer will likely become a more active subscriber. Trust me, it's like dating. You start broad and then you find your match. Now, let's talk about some of the challenges I faced. Trust me, there were quite a few. Initially, it can be really discouraging when your videos don't get many views. But here is a tough tip you might not like to hear. For the first 100 videos, nobody cares about you and your content. They can watch any big channel they want. So, it is crucial to focus on making your own videos better. Challenge yourself. For the first 100 videos, identify something that you can improve on and improve it. Then, when you are done, move on to the next one. This should be your focus, getting better at creating content. Don't get disheartened. Focus on improving your content and understanding what your audience wants. If you struggle to identify what you can improve, ask your friends or someone you don't know very well. Maybe just a distant cousin or other family member. Fresh eyes can quickly tell you what you are doing wrong. So please keep in mind that criticism is good in this instance. Don't avoid it just because you don't want to hurt your pride. You should focus on getting better because you are not competing against the algorithm. You are competing with millions of other content creators. Rob over at vidIQ said this and it resonated with me. Improving yourself will put you above the others. And remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, but they were laying bricks every hour. Finding your style and what you are good at. Me? I didn't like having a face cam in my videos, but now I do it for every video. Don't be afraid to experiment with different formats and topics within your niche until you find out what works best. Studying other content creators in your niche can help you find this out. Look at what they do well and then incorporate that into your videos. This experiment is great, especially within the first 100 videos. It took me a while to find my unique voice and style. Don't be afraid to try new things until you find what works best. Studying other content creators and incorporating their successful elements into your content can be very beneficial. Remember, Picasso didn't paint the Mona Lisa in one go. Ugh. Wait, that was Da Vinci. You get the idea. Before we move on, I want to share a bonus tip. VidIQ. They are amazing. Their personal coach service is a must-have if you are starting or struggling. VidIQ offers many features like keyword research, video optimization, competitor analysis, and real-time analytics. They even have daily ideas to help you come up with fresh content. These tools are incredibly helpful in growing your channel and improving your content. Side note, to my coach, Benji, I know you are watching this video and I want to say thank you so, so much for all of your input, advice, encouragement, tips, and the journey. I do appreciate you a lot and I wouldn't be where I am today without you. So thank you again. If you are interested in a vidIQ subscription, please consider supporting my channel by going through my affiliate link, vidIQ.com forward slash SimSega. That's vidIQ.com forward slash SimSega. 
if you decide to get the paid subscription, I will get a small commission at no extra cost to you. If you don't want the paid subscription or are tight on funds, then vidIQ also offers free features. I want to add that vidIQ didn't pay me to say this. I do fully believe what I said about vidIQ. You have absolutely nothing to lose. You will thank me later. Next, let's talk about what not to do. Don't focus on numbers too early, especially within the first 100 videos. It's easy to get obsessed with subscriber counts and views, but it takes time to grow. Focus on creating quality content and the numbers will follow. This is super, super important. Stay away from paid promotions like Sprizzy, Splinzy, Path Social, Google Ads, and freelancers who promise you they can help because they are Google Ad experts. Sure, you will get views, subscribers, and likes, but they are often fake. Doing this wastes a ton of money. Believe me, I have wasted more than $2,000 trying this way, but it also didn't work. I also came to believe that it did more damage to my channel than good because organic growth goes away and you always need to pay for your channel to grow. Something that I stopped doing and my organic growth finally started to come back after five months. How do you know if a pay promotion company gives you real subscribers? Well, don't look at their websites because those are very convincing. Find out if they need access to your YouTube channel. If they do, then they are legit and will work better. If not, and you only have to give them a video link, stay away. Don't ignore your audience. Engage with your viewers by responding to comments and taking their feedback seriously. Building a community is just as important as creating content. Now, I want to share some personal tips that have helped me along the way. Be patient. If you are anything like me, you want to see results extremely fast. I know, that is what I wanted, and it led me to make a ton of wrong judgment calls. The result was I wasted a ton of money. YouTube is a long-term thing, and very rarely do you become a huge channel very fast. But it does happen. Avoid overspending. It's easy to think that buying the best equipment will instantly make your channel successful, but focusing on content quality and audience engagement is more important. Start with what you have and upgrade gradually. Remember, it's not about the size of your camera, it's how you use it. Finally, here's what you can expect if you're just starting out. Expect slow growth. It took me several months to see significant traction, but don't get discouraged. Persistence is key. Expect to learn a lot. From video editing to understanding analytics, you'll gain many new skills along the way. And hey, if I can do it, so can you. Don't shy away from using AI. It makes the job so much easier. I use it for many things that help me streamline my work. Here is one of the secret things that I am doing. I publish videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But for Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, I use AI to make highlights of my long-form videos and turn them into shorts. The AI website I use also automatically posts these short videos on all my social media platforms. If you want to know which website I use, ask me in the comment section down below. I do a little extra because AI in this regard isn't perfect, but it takes away so much editing work. Why do I do this? Because I use it to promote my long form videos. My shorts get a ton more views than my long form videos. When someone sees the short and they like what they see, I make sure to include the link to the long form video so that they can watch it by themselves if they want to. So there you have it, my 8th month YouTube journey. It's been a roller coaster ride, but I've learned a lot and am excited about what's coming. If you're thinking of starting a channel, go for it. And remember, stay patient. 
keep learning, and most importantly, have fun. If you enjoy my content, please consider liking this video, subscribing to my channel, and hitting the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. Leave a comment below on any tips, tricks, questions, concerns you might have, or things you found helpful in this video. Check out our membership page by clicking the join button. If there is no join button, you can find links to YouTube membership and Patreon in the description below. Do you want to know what perks you get? Watch the membership video. The link is in the description below. With that being said, I will give my current subscribers the recognition they deserve by putting their names in the credit roll. If you want your name on the credit roll, become a member now. Credit roll in 3, 2, 1, go! Alrighty then, please click the video on top to see videos suggested to you and click on the bottom if you want to see my latest playlist. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!